Shall we all show by hands how many of us here had at least one meal today? Thank you. Now I want you to imagine this. Imagine how it will feel like going a day or two without a single meal. Do you know that what you just imagined was actually the fate of over 820 million people worldwide in 2018? That number is one out of every nine people in the world. The world population is expected to increase to about 9.7 billion people by 2050. So given the current rate of population growth and food production, one can assume that more people are likely to go hungry in the future. It is estimated that to be able to produce enough food to feed the increasing population, food production must increase by over 60%. But is this possible given the fact that farmland is a limited resource and cannot be expanded without limitations, or at least cannot be expanded in an environmentally sustainable manner? So how then do we produce enough to feed the increasing population? This is where the idea of technology on the farm comes in. For many years, farmers used their guesswork and judgment to make decisions on the farm. But in the 21st century, more and more farmers are embracing technology for decision making on their farms. The use of technology today goes beyond planting and harvesting to include data collection. The use of these technologies to collect data on the farm is the motivation behind my research work, Big Data on the Farm. My research seeks to identify some of the factors that influences a farmer's choice of these technologies for usage on their farms. It will also examine some of the challenges these farmers face in their acquisition, usage, and control of the gathered data. To accomplish this, I conducted a survey of farmers in Illinois, Indiana, and Iowa. Initial results from my research shows that many of these farmers are collecting some form of farm data, but are, however, concerned as to who has access and ownership to their farm data. Results from my research will contribute to existing knowledge of literature. So tonight, even as you live here, I want you to ponder over this, that if a US farmer could feed 18 people in the 1940s, and that number increased to 125 people in 1995. Think of how many more people a farmer can feed in 2050, given a high rate of adoption of these technologies on the farm. Thank you.